Hi everyone. Um, today I'll be conducting a review of 3D Game Lab. Um, 3D Game Lab is an online learning platform with the goal to engage students in quest-based learning that is tied to curriculum standards. Um, its goal, it, it plans to reach this goal through using a process known as gamification. Uh, gamification is the concept of integrating gaming principles and design to typically non-game activities. So the idea behind gamification is that <clears throat> um, it will give students more agency over their learning and encourage them to, to take more responsibility for their learning process. Um, it's also supposed to help make learning more fun, quote unquote. Um, this platform, 3D Game Lab, was designed at Boise State University by Lisa Dawley and Chris Haskell in 2011. <clears throat> uh, right now it's still in the beta testing stages, but the plan is to uh, release it to the public around like late spring of 2013. Uh, so let me get started by signing in. So See, I signed in and I reached the home page. The first thing you probably notice is that this is not me. Um, this is actually Shelly Rodrigo, for those of you who know her. Um, she is a uh, an English professor in the department in the in the English department at Old Dominion University. Um, she was part of one of the beta testing groups for this for this platform, which is why she has access to it. And she was kind enough to lend me her username and password uh, so that I could play around with it and conduct this review for you all. <clears throat> um, let me start just by kind of going over some of the aspects, some of the main aspects of this. It's a pretty robust platform. I'm not going to have time to cover everything in this in this short video though. <clears throat> um, so the main thing about 3D Game Lab, the main aspect of it I should say, are these groups over here. So these are the groups that Shelly is a part of. Um, these were the groups that were created for her her beta testing workshop back in um, 2011. So you can see the Academy, Blended Learning, Games in the Mirror, Mobile Learning, Technology Integration, and so on and so on. Um, each one of these groups have their own quests over here. So you can see, for example, the Academy, the group that we're in right now, um, there's two quests available that Shelly has, has available to her. Um, there's two quests in progress, which mean, you know, two quests that she's begun and that she can still work on, but sh that she has not submitted yet. Um, and then she has 25 quests that she's completed. So um, each one of these quests awards experience points, much like a, you know, uh, a, a video game like World of Warcraft, where you, you know, you complete quests, you go kill a dragon, um, bring back some wolf skins to the town, you earn experience points. It's the same process here, the same idea here, where you complete a quest, you submit your work to the to the instructor through through this platform, they review it, and then they, um, if they decide that you know you've completed it satisfactory, then they award you the XP, the experience points, a shorthand XP. Um, and if not, one of the nice things about this platform is that okay, so if the student doesn't complete it um, uh, sufficiently, doesn't complete the quest sufficiently, the instructor can return it with feedback and say, you know, I can't award you XP yet for these reasons. Um, you know, you need to look at this and this and this before I can uh, award you XP for this for this quest. So it's nice because there's a very, you know, circular kind of feedback loop that's happening here where it's not just the students turn in an assignment and it's done. Um, there's kind of a constant process of reevaluation and revisiting that, that this platform allows for. A um, couple of other things about this page. So you can see Shelly's rank up here, Conqueror. Huzzah! Um, that's within this group. So within the Academy group, she's a Conqueror. Now if I go to um, Games in the Mirror, this is a group that's kind of about learning and gaming theory within the classroom. So the quests relate to that that concept, learning and gaming theory in the classroom. Um, you can say here, so things change. So in this group, she's only a seeker. Um, I need to reload this page before I can show you the other the other ranks that are available to her because of a, I guess it's a bug in the system. Um, 
but if I click on this, so she's a seeker. A seeker means that she has completed, or she has earned between 100 and 249 experience points in this in this group. <clears throat> so you can see the other ranks here, all the way up to dungeon evaluator with a thousand plus. Um, so keep in mind, like the instructors set up all of these ranks, so you know you can kind of have fun with it and make it something that the students will enjoy earning potentially. Um, so you can see within this within this group, there's 14 quests available, seven that she's working on, and seven that she's completed. Um, these bars offer a nice, you know, tangible uh, indicator of the student's progress through each group and through each class. So within this group, Shelley has, you know, 205 XP out of a thousand. So um, it's up to the instructor to set kind of, you know the grade equivalent for um, for XP, like the grade to XP equivalent. So, you know, you might say something like, okay, 950 XP in this case is an A, you know, at least 850 is a B, something like that. Um, and then it's the students' jobs to go through and, and complete these quests to attain the XP for <clears throat> the grade that they want or that they hope to have. Um, so within this group, like I said, so Shelly has, she's, with the quest that she's completed, the seven quests that she's completed add up to 250 XP. Um, her rank um, right now, the rank here refers to this rank, Seeker. So she's a little bit over halfway between Seeker and the next rank. So she has 105 points within the 150 um, XP that she needs to, to level up to the next rank, which is inspector so that that kind of progress bar can offer like a nice piece of encouragement for students where they've like, like they can see kind of okay what do I need to do how much do I need to get to the next level and then they can look at the quests that are available to them and kind of see which ones fit you know what they like and what they want to do and how they um, how they want to try to level up um, so thinking of this in like a writing class uh, just to kind of show you an example, well, before I get to that, let me just say, like, if we take this this potential quest, battle, of, the battle of good gaming versus good learning, uh, you can see that that's worth 30 XP. Um, it takes about 21 minutes to complete, um, and it has a pretty high rating of four and a half stars out of five. This is nice because this allows the the users, the students in this case, to offer feedback on the quest. So if they like a quest a lot, they can give it a high rating. If they don't like it, they can give it a low rating and then also provide feedback as to why they why they didn't like it. Um, you can set the categories so you know in a writing classroom it might be something like you know critical thinking or um, uh, you know critical reading um, so, you know any categories that you decide to come up with for the class. Um, and you can also set an end date, a due date. So in this case if we started this one so I might look at this you could the nice thing too is that you can set up prerequisites so you know, imagine this in terms of an, like an analysis paper where you want students to complete an outline and maybe have a conference with you before you before they actually write the paper, right? Um, or and actually try to submit the paper. Uh, so you might have prerequisites like you know, a, complete an outline. You might have other quests like outline and uh, conference with instructor before you actually have the anal uh, the analysis paper due. Um, so you would have the prerequisites listed here that they have to complete these other quests first before turning this one in. Um, and of course those quests would be worth XP, so it also offers kind of a nice way to see how um, assignments are structured together and how they build off of each other. Um, so if we were to start this quest, just to kind of show you what it looks like in here. So there's a description, um, and then there's the submission details, so again the students just submit right through this platform. Um, so in this case, you have to go to the gamification wiki and complete these these tasks and respond to it. Um, so I would do that. You know, I would submit my submit it by the submission details, and then I would cl click complete. That would send it to the instructor, and they would review it and either give me the XP or return it to me and give me feedback on it. Um, <clears throat> that is the kind of the meat of this system, this program. Um, I really think it has a lot of potential for 
the writing classroom and you know for all classrooms in general really um, oh one thing I didn't I should show as well is the reward system so there's also much like in games there's achievements there's rewards so each group has its own rewards like these badges uh, you can see like um, Shelly doesn't have a lot of them in this group but like she has the seeker achievement which means that she ranked up to seeker so you click on a badge you can see kind of what the requirements are here um, let's see there's also a nice support system um, a very useful help system or kind of like frequently asked questions people who are using it in their classrooms right now are beta testers and kind of they seem to be very helpful and responsive when there's when there's issues with it um, so again kind of the the hope is for this to launch in the spring of 2013 um, I'd be happy to answer any questions about it just contact me I'll put my email and um, you know websites at the end of this video. Thanks for your time.